Hey guys, what's up? My name is Martino. I am the founder of the London Saxophone School. Welcome to the channel. What I want to do today for you guys is I want to share with you probably one of the greatest pieces of advice that I've ever gotten on how to get a bigger, a fuller sound, a more relaxed sound and everything avoiding any kind of tension that we might have in our body that's actually preventing us from getting this nice and relaxed sound. So no matter the level you're at, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced, even professional, maybe you're squeaking, maybe you have troubles with the low notes, with the high notes, it doesn't matter whatever is going on with your sound, this little technique will get rid of 99% of your issues when it comes to sound, okay? And we're gonna hear legendary Berkeley professor George Garzon talk about this. Now, George Garzon is, uh, was a teacher of Branford Marsalis, Joshua Redmond, and many other world-class musicians, so he really knows what he's talking about. Now, the short clip that we're gonna watch is taken from a masterclass that George Garzon did for us some time ago on sound, embouchure, and improvisation. If you want to get the full masterclass, just go to the link here below and you'll be able to access the masterclass, the full masterclass, okay? So let's watch this together. At the end of the video, if you feel like it, uh, just give it a like to the video, and also don't forget to download the free PDF with more saxophone tips for you, okay? So enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys, bye. See, th again, when you, when you hear people with really big sounds, it's because they're, they're blowing open. All right, I'll show you something that you know, like I learned from Lovano and, and all these cats that really play. You stand next to these people, and if you're not, your sound isn't strong, they'll blow you right off the bandstand without even trying. You know, it's just, it's the way you play the instrument. So getting back to this, releasing this restriction of the bottom lip, um, I'll show you something you can practice, which I call... My uncle Rocco, who taught me how to play saxophone, he was an Italian pizza maker in Boston, and I used to take lessons in the back of the shop while he was rolling these pizzas and throwing them up in the air and teaching me how to play the saxophone. Um, he always talked about this ha sound, H-A-W, ha. And, you know, when you're young, I was only around 9 or 10, I, was, I didn't know what he was talking about until later in life I realized that if you pronounce this word, it's like an English term, ha, ha. In order to do that, you're opening the back of the, la the larynx back here, okay? So there can't be any restriction. So if you go ha, it's like ha or ha, ha. So then you do that for a little while. Then you put the horn you put the instrument in your mouth and try to play and, and make a sound happening without closing down. Because the moment people put the horn in their face, so for some reason they, they go restrictive, you know? I think it's because of the smallness of the mouthpiece. You know, they go, as soon as it's like here, they like, you know, they squeeze down, but it's gotta be like, ha. Oh. And that would relate to what I'm talking about, about this bottom lip, okay? I know you, Dente, this is really interesting for you, my man, but it's applicable to the guitar. <laughs> Hang in there with me, because I'm gonna get you on the triadic. I know you're ready. So let me show you this, let me show you this. So when you're going from what I just mentioned about the, the ha to the actual sound, you don't want to close down because that's what happens. As soon as if I say, ha, ah, you're cool. But as soon as you put the horn in your mouth, what happens? It's like this tendency to kind of bear. Now, what you want to do is, I want to hit, if you, if you do it and you have a really raunchy sound, like nasty, then you're doing it right, okay? <laughs> There's, there, there's no restriction. That makes sense? You hear that? And I'm pushing, I'm blowing down on the sound so that the intonation doesn't rise because, uh, you know, I play an old balance and with these balance, the um, tendency, if you run the airstream up, is to get sharp, so. Okay. 
okay? So this way, in playing the tenor or even the alto, you're getting the maximum amount of sound out of that horn, okay? So when you step up to the bandstand, and I know, especially I played Ronnie Scott's uh, Martino one time, and these people, like, get up there, and, and, you know, everywhere you go, they try to kill you. You know, they want to have the biggest sound. But when you come in with this stovepipe sound that I'm talking about, you know, it's it at least gives you an opportunity to be heard. You understand what I'm saying? So everything I'm talking about is coming from the freedom with the air. Okay, if you restrict, then it's gonna it's gonna cut the airstream down. That's why I'm you know again I'm a firm believer of no articulation. You know, okay.